I'm Michaela Malberg. I'm professor. My name is Dr. Pierre Alexis Mevel. So my name is Naomi Sykes. I'm my name is Gianluca Sergi. My name is Katharina Lawrence. I'm an associate professor in the classics department, and I'm also the director of the Digital Humanities Centre, the place we are, we're in just now. You're about to see a video uh, about the research facilities within the uh, Faculty of Arts uh, using digital technologies and other types of lab facilities. I'm a classical archaeologist, or sort of ancient art historian by training, and I'm particularly interested in the way in which we make sense of the visual worlds which surround us, and specifically in the way we make sense of the visual worlds uh, of antiquity. My research in the past has included lots of different things, but all things were in, somehow, in some way related with the, the sort of the impact of how something is presented changes the way we make, or kind of make meaning out of it or create meaning. I, I worked on the interior decoration of Pompeian houses and I was very interested in the way in which certain types of wall painting make people move through spaces and make them relate to spaces in different ways. And I've generally worked on um, narrative pictures, uh, mythological pictures and the way in which stories are told through visualization and through putting different types of pictures in, in spatial contexts. My main area of research is corpse linguistics. That is, corpse linguistics studies large collections of computer-readable texts with the help of specific software or programs. My research is at the intersection of translation studies, sociolinguistics and, and film studies. Um, and I, I finished my, my PhD a, a couple of years ago. So we have this uh, big project studying the archaeology of the chickens because although this is a livestock species that is spread around the world, you know, it's the most numerous livestock species on the planet, we know nothing about it. We don't know where chickens are from, we don't know where they were first domesticated, we don't know why they were domesticated, we don't know how they spread around the world. We know nothing about chickens, yet they're so important to us today in terms of our food, in terms of in many cultures ritual and religion, but we just know nothing about them. So this project is trying to answer these questions and find out about this, uh, the, the information about chickens, not just so that we can find out how people lived in the past, but it's going to be important information that helps us to understand the present and also to address issues of food security in the future. My uh, research interests um, focus mostly on filmmaking practices, filmmakers, studios, um, both in Hollywood and um, in the rest of the world. Um, I have had the good pleasure and fortune of meeting a lot of uh, very high profile filmmakers and also studio executives which have fueled even more my interest in this particular area of the industry. One of the things I really like about uh, doing research at Nottingham is are the opportunities for working together with other people and the Digital Humanities Centre very much has sort of grown out of of these opportunities. So I've worked a lot in the past with people in the computer sciences and also in geography and in built environment. They're all part of different uh, faculties. And the great thing is that we have similar interests, similar research questions, but we have different methods of, of pursuing these questions and we can come together and work on these questions together. And I've learned a lot from my colleagues in these other parts of the university and that's reflected in our facility here. This space here, the Kral Room, is really important for me because this is an area where both staff and students can use corpus software and they can access the corpora that we hold here in the centre. We've also got this here, this is a state-of-the-art eye tracker that we use to run psycholinguistic experiments. Well, it's great to have a space that's dedicated to translation and more specifically to doing translation. This is, a, this, is the, this is the translation suite. Next door we have an, an, a dedicated interpreting uh, suite and in, in this uh, translation suite, which is like a computer lab, as you can see, we've got all sorts of uh, different translation software installed on the, uh, on the computers, uh, mostly softwares that are used uh, by uh, you know, companies. So this is the bioarchaeology lab. This is where we study archaeological animal remains. It's where we study ar uh, archaeological plant remains, archaeobotany, and also human remains. It's a great space because it gives us room where we can come together, do our research, have our lab meetings, which we have weekly, and just engage in our research. And it's my pleasure today to introduce you to two sets of facilities that we have here at the university. 
the facilities for filmmaking, the KMC, which is where we are, and the Hallwood screening um, room at the Hallwood Library, which you can see right there. The screening room at the Hallwood Library, uh, which is on main campus here at the university, is an exceptional facility that we created a few years ago and had the good fortune actually to help design when the time came. Um, it's great because students can really experience films in a very good environment from a technological point of view. So, for instance, we have high definition projection systems, we have Blu-ray players there, but also from a sound point of view, which is often the weak link in these kind of facilities, we have an excellent surround sound system in that room. The facilities that we are here in today, and you can see here behind me, uh, again, a great resource for, for students. Um, they offer opportunities for production in terms of, for instance, camera. Um, you can borrow cameras, you can borrow lighting equipment, sound equipment, and then post-production you can come and edit. This is an edit suite that we have here. Uh, the most people think that that's just valuable for people interested in production. In actual fact, these kind of facilities are very useful to anybody interested in researching uh, production and researching filmmaking practices. It's virtually impossible, I would think, to write in an effective manner about uh, all of those areas, what filmmakers do and how they think and how do things come out the way that they do come out, unless you have a fairly basic understanding of the logistics involved. And this place is great in giving you an opportunity to do so.